Hey Capricorn, welcome to the weekend reads for the 22nd to the 24th of November. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment down in the comment section below. And let's get started with your love messages. Capricorn love messages, please. Capricorn love messages. Here we go. Ooh, Nine of Swords in reverse. That's a good place to be. No anxiety, not thinking about it, not worrying, letting go of worry. Because there's someone new. You're talking to someone new. Ooh. Ooh, okay. But you could still be deciding between someone old. That's interesting. A lot of pentacles here. We've got the page and the king. So it could be someone older and younger. But I feel like you're juggling this here. You may still even be talking to two of them. Ooh, but you're not being honest with yourself about something, Capricorn. Mm. Okay, let's see what this Nine of Swords is about. What's the Nine of Swords, please? Okay, yeah, you're just feeling really good and positive. Like, I think that in the past there's been a little bit of anxiety and worry in your past. I feel like it's to do with this one, the King of Pentacles. I don't know why, um, but which could be the older person. Um, but you're kind of worry-free at the moment, and I think it's because you've got some options. You definitely, you've got two things going on here. All right, let's see what the page of Pentacles is. More about the page, please. Thank you. Okay, so this page may work in law enforcement as some description. Um, they just, they're very, they're a really good person. They're a good, honest kind of person. And I think you find that really refreshing. What's the uh, King of Pentacles, please? King of Pentacles. Okay, so the King of Pentacles is a little bit more, um, they could be a Virgo. They're a little bit more withdrawn. They don't necessarily communicate very well. They might just keep their thoughts and feelings to themselves. And I think that that's maybe where the anxiety has been in the past. What's the um, Ace of Swords? What's the Ace of Swords, please? Okay, so you're definitely trying to um, use your <laughs> your masculine and feminine ways to influence the situation. You're manifesting very well. But I think as much as this manifesting is going on, you already know in your heart who your heart belongs to. Um, I think perhaps you are trying to force yourself to move away into something new but you know the truth you already know the truth so i don't need to tell you capcorn all right most likely outcome please for this weekend most likely outcome for this weekend oh oh way too many cards there so there's no actual um relationship offers happening at the moment like that's although we're dealing with pentacles and there's pentacles being offered they're not like solid relationships there's a little bit of guilt happening for some reason and i think it's because you might have two on the go here capricorn oh, oh okay but you need to be careful because um there may be some communication that causes a bit of a falling out between one of you so just be careful what you're saying it could be the younger one um but yeah there might there might be um like some argument not argument but like it's kind of like i feel like it's a misunderstanding if anything but i feel like it's just a it's like a little tiff because there's some some misunderstanding some communic it's something that's said in like a text or something that's been like taken the wrong way 
maybe he said something in, in jest or as a joke and they took it seriously, that sort of thing. Nothing serious, but, you know, something small. Um, advice, please. Advice for Capricorn, please. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, one more, please. Uh oh Woo. okay all right so spirit's giving you a warning that you can't keep this double life up for long okay it's going to be very short-lived success you need to release someone or you're going to get hurt or someone else is going to get hurt you need to be telling them as soon as you know Okay, you need to be being honest i think this is to not being honest with yourself um but you need to have some communication like quickly because someone is going to get hurt i don't know whether it's you or one of these people but you're not going to be able to keep this up for long is what i'm getting from this all right um you minxes you capricorns all right romance angel please for capricorn let's do one for the page one actually let's do one for you one for the page one for the king in romance angels because romance angels never lie so, Romance Angel for Capricorn, please. Oh, we just got two for you. Um, anyway. Okay, so passion and forgiving and learning. Okay, so this could be your views on um, the younger one, which is the newer one, I believe. Uh, and forgiving and learning is on the older, the king. So, this is for the page, this is for the king. Your views on that or your advice for that. Now let's get there, how they see you from the page. How does the page feel about this? Romance Angels, page. Chemistry, there's no denying that there's chemistry between the two of you. How does the king feel about this connection? Oh, trust and let your friends help you. Okay, so your king may know, may sense that something's going on with a page. Um, he may be seeking out friends, uh, like uh, support from friends and family. Um, but yeah, that's very interesting indeed. Okay. Oh, Capricorn. Ooh, I've got reconciliation on the bottom of the deck too. So if anyone is in separation, it looks like they will be reconciling soon. Capricorn, you guys have got a ripper weekend ahead. Um, please revisit for the weekly reads. So hopefully I pick up your energy for that as well, if this has resonated with you. And we can see what's happening next for you uh, next week. Uh, subscribe, like, leave a comment. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.